guys, so welcome to my LA studio apartment tour. This is super exciting. I literally moved in around two weeks ago. While the place is still pretty empty, I wanted to do like an empty apartment tour just to sort of show you guys the bare bones of the place. And of course, once I decorate and personalize it a little bit more, I'll have an updated version. I live sort of in a suburban area of Los Angeles. The space is 450 square feet and my bedroom is my living room, which I will show you guys in a minute. But yes, without further ado, let's get into the tour. Also, how cute is that squiggle pillow? Like I live for it. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. When you first enter the apartment, this is what you see. You can see my giant window over there, my bed, and then of course the kitchen. Okay, so this is the kitchen. I'm gonna give you guys a legitimate tour of the nooks and crannies, but just a quick overview. As you can see, the appliances are a little dated. That is the one part of this apartment that shows its age, I would say. A lot of the rest of it is updated. Lots of storage, like so much storage, which like, thank God, because that was something I was really worried about with living in the studio, was making sure that I had enough storage. I will say that moving here, I definitely kept in mind how small the space was with the amount I brought. So a lot of these cabinets are actually pretty empty. Okay, so let's take a little more detailed of a look, shall we? Okay, so starting in this corner, we have one of my few pieces of decoration. I have this little candle. My color scheme is like, neutrals pink and matcha green so bringing that in then i have like a little uh cup of some of my more like casual utensils i also have my reusable straws which i swear by i keep like my nice silverware in this top drawer as you can see wow <laughs> also in these cabinets i keep like a lot of my cooking utensils so like wooden spoons spatulas things like that can opener bottle opener measuring cups ice cream scoops literally how adorable is this bro literally when i was shopping they had everything in that like blue color and i sort of regret not making it one of my colors this is the oven she's definitely old but i think it's kind of cute and charming honestly like it has vintage vibes <laughs> for sure and then i have my kitchen towels this one with like the little girl and the little boy on it my grandma like embroidered the bottom which just like melts my heart so Love that. Again, pulling in the pink and the matcha green, sticking with the color scheme. This is my sink. Love this little sponge holder. It just says sponge and it's like marbled. And then I have this little rack for drying my dishes. On one side, I love love having the double-sided sink. Cute little soap bottle. Big fan of the like lemon thing. And then I have my gorgeous little knife block over here. Honestly, I... I, I love this. Like, this is the kitchen I've always dreamed of. Up here, we have my plates and bowls. Like I said, not much going on. I have some really nice wine glasses that I got, I think at Ikea. And then these like sick, like scalloped salad bowls that I got, I think on Amazon. And I love my dishes. They're like this clay ombre mocha color. Anything with like rounded or like scalloped edges, I feel like is super in right now, very on trend. And then we have this fridge, stocked freezer, stocked refrigerator. You can definitely tell that only one person lives here. It's like a slim pickings, but honestly, I love that. Like, I don't want to have an unmanageable amount of stuff in my apartment. And same sort of thing is true for the pantry. Like, she's pretty, she's pretty empty, but I love these little like wire storage racks that I'm using for spices and stuff. I think they're super cute. Just have, you know, some essentials, some pasta, some seasonings some like dressings, corn, beans. This is like the stuff that I'm eating on the regular. Okay, so in this corner, I have my toaster and my Nutribullet. This is where I make my smoothies, which I'm a smoothie fiend, so very useful. And then I also have this like reflective bowl thing. I got this at Ikea. It's like sort of just like a decorative piece according to them, but I've been using it as like my statement fruit bowl. Honestly, I feel like it just livens up this corner and adds like a tiny bit of decor to the space. So I'm just gonna do a super quick rundown of what's in the cabinets on the opposite side. So here I have like medicine, pens, random stuff like that. All of these organizers, and this is where all my like technology stuff is. So since the only main storage in this apartment is in the kitchen and in the bathroom. I sort of had to get creative with where to put some of this stuff. So I have like chords, I have music stuff. Here's my like record player, which eventually will be going on a media stand, but don't have that yet. And then I have my records back there just for now. Over here, just have extra dishcloths and 
my cute little oven mitts. Again, matching the color scheme, matching the whole cream thing. Right here I have my pots and pans. I got this like all black and metal set at Bed Bath & Beyond and it came with like a bunch of different pots and pans, so very happy with that i have a few cutting boards i especially really love this wooden like circular cutting board and a tiny little baking sheet for my tiny little oven and then down here i have just like a strainer cheese grater containers so that i can meal prep and keep my food longer which again is helping me save money and be more efficient as a solo human who can't really eat a full serving of anything in one go so these are my glasses and mugs these are from the like ombre set that i am obsessed with and i have these like clear your tall glasses. I also have these little pink glasses that I got at Ikea, which I think are so cute. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay. Also want to give a moment to what the counters of the kitchen look like. I just feel like they're super nice. I love this color of marble. That is the general gist of the kitchen. And then I have these stools, which oh my god. These might be my favorite thing in the apartment thus far. They mix the stainless steel, this woven pattern, and then this like fuzzy white bottom which is something that i'm recurring throughout the apartment i really love like these fuzzy cream things since i want to make my apartment mostly neutral instead of using a bunch of pops of color i'm mostly using like texture to lighten things up so that's why i fell in love with these because it's got a whole lot of texture going on <laughs> i only have two stools for now which i think will be fine because i doubt i'm going to be having very large groups of people over frequently i'm planning to maybe get a couple more so that they can line this whole bar one of my favorite parts about this kitchen is even though it is hella narrow it is really long and it has this giant counter space which is super major for me. I love working at this island. I love sitting at this island. I literally have my computer here because as of now I don't have a desk so this is serving many purposes and honestly I'd rather have it be long than wide so I have no issues with the kitchen being narrow. It might be annoying when I'm trying to cook with other people but I'll survive. So just to give you an idea of the amount of space that I have, this is the like main living slash bedroom as you can see that's the kitchen right there okay so in this corner i have my electric guitar my amp and my wi-fi box very exciting stuff i'm actually planning to hang my electric guitar by my bed which i think will be really cool and then over here we have my ac unit super exciting my plan for this wall long term is to have a media stand like a long media stand running where i can put my record player and then to have a large TV hanging on the wall. Luckily, we are allowed to hang TVs in this apartment. Real quick, this is what the floor looks like. I actually think it's really nice. So everything is very much connected as it usually is with the studio apartment. I thought it might trip me out to be sleeping in the same space that I like hang out in on the regular, but honestly, it hasn't been an issue. I make my bed every day, which I think helps, so I'm not like crawling into bed at every hour of the day. So right next to my bed, I have my little skateboard. I do semi know how to skateboard. I'm not great, but I do use it. I also wanna hang my skateboard on the wall, but I think the like rose pattern is also a cute addition. And then this is my bed. I am getting a bed frame eventually, but for now it's just chilling on the floor. If you remember what I said about liking texture, this is another main source of texture for the apartment and i think it's super cute it's also so soft and i found this squiggle pillow which if you guys have seen like the squiggle trends i know i mentioned it in the intro but like i think this is so cute it's like this canvasy pillow and then it has like this furry part but it's from ikea I have silk pillowcases which honestly is so nice if you haven't tried a silk pillowcase before please too it's like so much better for your skin and your hair like i mentioned before my plans are on this wall that you see over there <laughs> by the window to put my electric guitar and then my skateboard sort of like staggered on the walls. I really like the idea of repurposing items that I already have and use for other purposes as decor as opposed to just buying straight up decor that might be expensive and then I might get sick of in two months. My taste changes really quick so that's why I'm being like super careful with what i'm buying and making sure i like 100 percent love everything in here now we're gonna look at my favorite part of the apartment which is the view yep so this is the view of my apartment honestly i think it's the perfect combination of like greenery and city like it's by no means a view of downtown but i kind of like that yeah it's just like super nice to wake up to this every day for sure Okay, so we're back at the front door, and if you turn this way, this is the bathroom. Right next to the door, I have this cute little hanger thing that I got off Amazon where I just store like my keys and my masks. Super convenient when I need to grab things before I leave the house. 
And then we have the bathroom. I love this part of the bathroom. The giant mirrors are literally everything I could ever dream of. Just like the kitchen counter, it's like super long and expansive. Again, with the super nice countertops. And then we've got quite a bit of storage. So let's just go through these real quick. We got makeup in here. This is all of my hair type stuff. Super cute claw clips, scrunchies, things like that. And then this is just like a miscellaneous drawer where I keep like my tanner, my makeup palettes, whitening strips. I have all of my makeup brushes in this Starbucks mug, which I know this is like sort of strange, but I happen to think it's like really cute. I wanted to keep it like the neutrals again and I love Starbucks, so. And I have this tiny little dish with my jewelry. This is literally the only jewelry I brought. Again, I was really trying to like minimalize when I came into this apartment, so. And then we have my little sink, and I have this cute little organizer that I got off of Amazon in the corner with some of my daily skincare products, as well as my go-to perfume. It's a Versace perfume, and it is the best thing in the world. It's also sort of like my signature scent now. And I just have my little pink towels. Like I said, pink is like my main accent color for this apartment, so that's where that's coming from, and you can sort of see even with my soap and stuff, that like there's definitely a decent amount of pink in here. And then we come to my closet. Again, giant mirror, which is really sick because then I have like 360 mirrors in this room, which I love. When you open the mirrors, oof, that screeching sound. <laughs> I have a massive closet, which again, for a studio apartment, was overjoyed about that. So let's just go through this real fast. This is a lot of my like workout clothes. Just got this super cute little loungewear set. This literally just matches the vibes of my apartment like perfectly. A whole bunch of leggings, workout shorts, pajama pants, and then I have like my like two skirts and dresses, lol. A whole lot of jeans, my fun pants, love these from Urban Outfitters, super cute. And then just jackets and blazers, didn't bring many jackets because you know, LA weather. And then up here I have a giant basket, I got that to store extra towels i believe is in there and then i just have all my purses and things lined up up there i have all my shoes down here and my vacuum lol even my vacuum matches the color scheme that's how anal i was about this whole thing passing through the middle to get to the other side of the closet this has a double clothes rack which i find super convenient and a whole bunch of stored shelves which is basically sort of taking the place of both like a bookcase and a dresser. So down here, I just keep a lot of my loungier clothes, pajamas, sweatshirts, and then up here, I keep all of my like tank tops and like more outfit-y tops, I guess. And on this side, I have a bunch of books, I have my contacts, my blue light glasses, a belt, and then I have these cute bins from, I think Ikea, I love them. They're like wire with these like wooden handles, which I use just to store stuff like bathing suits, bras, underwear. And down here I have a backpack, which is full of all my camera equipment. And then comes the part of the apartment that really reminds me that I'm living in a studio, the toilet. <laughs> Okay, so this is the bathroom. Um, I like this light fixture, I guess, but it's definitely tiny. I also have these little rugs, which I think are really cute. They're fuzzy, they match the vibes. I have some black, white, and pink towels. I have this shower, which was like the dirtiest part of the apartment when I got here. You can even see when you like look down at the tiles and stuff that it's definitely a bit run down, a little yellow. This is the inside of the shower, and I have this little black wire storage thing. Keeps all my shampoos, conditioners, things like that. And yeah, I mean, it's definitely small, but I realistically can't complain. Like it works, it's fine. It makes up for it by having this much space by the sink, which is where I would want to spend most of my time anyway, because I do my makeup at this counter and things like that. So it's all good. Hi, so that is it for my LA studio apartment tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I had a ton of fun filming it. Also, if you did not see my LA moving vlog, you can see a little bit more of the space and also just like what my day to day has been like while I've been here. Definitely let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will be happy to answer anything. Super looking forward to making an updated version of this once I have settled in a little bit more and I have some more decor going on, but for now, that is all, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.